All right, it is Monday, 10 a.m. I am heading to Chicago for the week. I have a course out there. Basically, I will be preparing for my, um, I'm preparing for my boards, which I take next year. So just like step one, uh, the MCAT, step two, uh, there's board prep courses that prepare us for the boards. And that's how you become board certified. So after your fifth year of residency, you take your board exam and you become board certified. So we start preparing for that as early as our first year as an intern year. I'm heading to Chicago for the course. I'll be there for the entire week this week. It is cold, so I am bundled up, but I will let you guys know once I make it to Chicago and you'll hang out with me during the week this week and see what it's like to be a resident kind of preparing for his boards. Just got to uh, Chicago. The uh, course starts tomorrow at 7 a.m., bright and early. So uh, tonight, just going back to the hotel, do a little studying, and uh, getting ready for the uh, week. We'll see you tomorrow. This is day number one at our board review course. Today we're going over pediatrics. So we have a uh, welcome recep reception at 7 a.m. And then we start lectures uh, pretty much all day today until maybe uh, six or seven tonight. So uh, going over different pathologies and pediatrics like uh, neuromuscular disorders or uh, scoliosis of the, uh, of the spine and then uh, we'll see how it goes. It's about to be a long day in class. Our team about the next minute or so. Just come on in. Just have a few announcements. It comes out to about 320 questions. So you get about a minute and a half per question. So one very key concept. So th we just finished uh, day number one. It was a long day in, in lecture. We spent about maybe 10 hours total in lecture. Uh, we did pediatrics as well as joint replacement. Uh, tomorrow we have two different uh, other subjects, uh, spine, and also I think, um, um, I don't know the last one, I think maybe pathology, but another day and lecture tomorrow. Uh, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. go right to the OR. If you see an MRI and there's that disc herniation there, uh, do not go for the closed reduction and uh, go to the operating room and go anteriorly remove the disc. <laughs> Alright, it is about 4 p.m. on day number two and I am so exhausted. <laughs> and tired of being in lecture that I had to come back, back up to my room and grab a cup of coffee. That was falling asleep. We have been in lecture since about 6.45 this morning. Um, and then lecture goes until maybe seven o'clock tonight. So today we did start off with spine uh, surgery. We went over basically indications for spine surgery. 
which means uh, when we should operate, um, when we should not operate. We went over anatomy of the spinal cord and brain. We went over uh, different medications, everything about spine surgery that you need to know for to become a board certified spine surgeon or a board certified orthopedic surgeon. This afternoon we're doing trauma surgery, so we're learning about hip fractures, wrist fractures, uh, tibia fractures, and kind of when to fix them, uh, what things you need to know in the operating room, anatomy. So a lot of information. It's a, basically a crash course. And if you can imagine trying to learn everything that you need to know about being an orthopedic surgeon, condensed down in four days, this is what it feels like. Um, so just like Kaplan, Princeton, they prepare you for the MCAT for your board exam to become a board certified orthopedic surgeon, they're, they are review courses and that's kind of what I'm doing now. So I had to come down <laughs> to my room and uh, get some coffee and kind of just get away from the lectures for a while. I've been sitting like all day long. We still have another two or three hours uh, to go um, until this evening. But um, this is good, I'm learning a lot. We're reviewing a lot of information that I already knew and learning a lot, a lot of new information as well. So tonight we're gonna go to a Cubs game. I never, I've never been to a baseball game before actually, so that should be a lot of fun. You guys are gonna follow me tonight. I'm um, gonna right the lecture, here we go. So we just left a uh, lecture, about to head to a, a Cubs game for the first time here in Chicago. So we are currently on break, but what I normally do is um, these are the slides that we're going through here. Basically, today is a sports medicine, and they usually tell us that this is a common test question. So this slide here, I usually take all of the slides that say a common test question, and then I put them in a PowerPoint. So so far, I have uh, about 430. PowerPoint slides of uh, really important things that you need to know uh, for the uh, board. So today is uh, sports medicine, and then this afternoon we'll be going over uh, foot and ankle. Uh, so this is how I'm kind of going through the uh, course to uh, kind of stay organized. All right, I've just got out of a uh, lecture. A uh, pretty long day, another day in lecture. We spent about uh, 10 or 11 hours uh, today total kind of uh, learning foot and ankle as well as what was the other subject that we did today? <laughs> it's been so long that I actually forgot the first subject that we did, but I'm heading to um, a spot here in Chicago called Garrett's Popcorn. Really good popcorn. I would definitely recommend if you ever in Chicago, definitely check it out. It's kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's some good popcorn. All right, I just uh, left the uh, lecture. Uh, this is day number four. Today we did uh, basically pathology all day. So it was basically uh, cancers of the bone, cancers of the soft tissue, any type of pathology, uh, basic science, went over some genetics uh, and some other uh, pathology. But 
what I learned today is that you have to do lots and lots of questions. They had a gentleman that came in and that scored a 99 percentile on his uh, boards and the way he did that was uh, he did about 9,000 questions in the last 90 days. So it's about 100 questions per day. So that's what I kind of took away from today is to do a lot of questions. I'm out of here with my backpack on like I'm going to school, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm learning a lot and um, I know exactly what I need to accomplish to in order to be uh, board certified. So do lots and lots of questions and it's repetition um, and that's how you do well. Alright, we just finished our uh, course. We're actually heading to the airport now, but uh, I still have a year until we uh, take our board exam. So I just, most of the people who came to this course are fifth years, and uh, there are some fourth years, and also some surgeons who have been out for, you know, 10, 15 years going for a recertification. Uh, so I have another year to prepare, just starting early. It's a very long course, very long days, but uh, we learned a lot. So what happens next is I come up with a plan for the next year to uh, basically pass my boards and uh, kind of stick with it. And I realize that questions are most important and kind of preparing and having a, basically a plan for what you want to accomplish. But thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll, we will uh, see you next time.